Hey everyone! So today I'm going to show you how to put a gold metallic overlay on one of the logos out of my bundles. They normally come in like a plain black but I know that's not everybody's cup of tea and this logo in particular has always been really really popular with the gold texture added to parts of it so I thought I'd just let you all know how to do it at home. So the first thing you need is you need to open up a logo template. This one that I'm using today is from my feminine pre-made logo bundles and it's volume 6 you need to look out for. So I've opened that up in the PSD format and I've also opened up a gold metallic overlay. Now I've had this one in my collection for years. If you don't have one just look on one of the free stock photo websites like unsplash.com and you'll find something to suit. The main thing you need to look out for is a nice natural gradient like this one going from the top to the bottom and excuse me <coughs> some natural kind of texture to it as well this little kind of graininess really makes the gold look a lot more realistic when it's added to a logo so what you're going to do to start off when you have both your files open is you want to click on the gold texture and you want to drag it over into the logo template. Now when you let go it's going to hop it in somewhere in the middle of your layers. You need to make sure that you drag it up above the borders layer. Um, we're going to apply a thing called a clipping mask and in order to do this your metallic texture has to sit above the layer that you want to apply it to. So a clipping mask basically is going to clip this texture here down onto the shape below it and hide everything else that's larger than the shape. If you move your mouse up to the little grey line that sits between the two layers you're going to work with and hold down your Alt key, you'll notice that the pointer changes from a regular hand pointer to a little downwards arrow. Um, what you do when you see this is you need to click and what it does is it applies the metallic texture down onto the layer below. Now, this texture has a very, very light area up in the top. And ideally, I'd like that to look a little bit less of a contrast in the difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to resize the metallic texture so it's as small as I can get it without showing little bits of the black peeping out at the edges. In order to do this, I am going to use the free transform tool, which is command T on your keyboard and uh, control T on a PC or you can go edit transform or free transform there and um, I use the keyboard myself a lot more because I work with this on a daily basis but you can use these little boxes that sit up at the top of the page to put in your dimensions and things if you're not comfortable with the keyboard um, I'll move ahead with this method now because it's the easiest one to explain to beginners. The first thing you need to do is click on this little link icon. So if you click on that, what it's going to do is constrain the properties as you downsize the texture. Then over here in your little box where you have 100%, you want to change that to about 50. We'll start with 50. Now, as you can see with the 50%, that's way too small. So I'm going to bring it up to maybe 80 and see where we go. Now 80 is still a little bit tight so in order to just not be having you pull your hair out when you're positioning this in a couple of minutes we're going to bring it up to maybe 85 just to give you a little bit more room. And then just go up and click on your tick mark and it'll apply the transformation. Now we still have a very light top and a very dark bottom so just using your mouse just drag that layer up. You'll see there's a little bounding box appearing outside of it and you just want to get it up as far as you can to push that really really light area out of the way. Now with a lot of metallic textures that you download off the internet especially computer generated ones you're not going to have this problem of the light area at the top it's just this one I use has that as a problem but the texture looks so good I just I don't mind changing it every time I apply it to something because it's worth it to have a more realistic looking texture 
really that's all you need to do to get your gold texture applied if i hide the background now you'll see you've got the gold it's not anywhere other than where the doodles are and it's really easy then to just drag a photo in underneath it for a social media post or change maybe your little text to slightly different colors just to kind of make it look a little bit more your own but really that's it um you now have a shiny gold logo all ready to go and you've added the texture yourself and you haven't had to pay anybody else to do it which is brilliant so good luck and let me know if you have any questions. The kit I used in the tutorial is linked below. The free website for downloading the gold borders is linked below. Um, so you should be good to go.